the Fort Worth Stockyards, where the Old West meets the New West. On this episode, we're headed to Fort Worth, to the Stockyards, to uh, see what kind of uh, fuckery we can get involved with. How'd that sound? Dumb. Would you like to do it? No. <laughs> They actually have a cattle drive there twice a day, so I'm gonna hopefully uh, at least get one of them. But it's full of like bars and old cow town, you know, stuff like that. So it should be interesting, a lot of history. Uh, hoping to stay at a place called Miss Molly's, which is supposed to be the uh, most haunted hotel in Texas. They're of course all called that, but it used to be a bordello. So I like to. Can I ain't staying there. I don't care how haunted. Uh, we're going to attempt to do the haunted uh, walking uh, pub tour uh, this evening. Um, we're not doing that either. Possibly. No. Because it's it's like 40-something degrees here in Texas. And it's a little cold. And I'm not going to go walk around and listen to cowboy stories. I'm not doing it. Uh, there's going to be libations. will be plenty warm. I'm not doing it. Who's this guy? He's not even going. He's going 68. In the fast lane. In the fast lane. Okay. This is why you carry a cattle prod. I wish I had a cattle prod. Oh, he's gonna fuck her up. But I got a middle up. finger. Oh, he's old as dirt. Oh, he looks, uh. Looks like he could be hostile. <sighs> this guy. Yeah, you. Too late, Tesla. Figure it the fuck out. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Uh, yes. So anyways, we're driving north. We're going to do some stuff. Follow along. I'm sure it'll be entertaining. Well, we made it, sort of. You mean we made it into Fort Worth? Yes. Yeah, so far I'm not impressed. The roads suck. Yes. And people drive like shit. Go ahead. Yeah, come on, old lady. You and your ugly coat. Uh, so Laura refuses to pay for parking, uh, so she's driving around aimlessly to try to find a free spot, which I'm sure doesn't exist. Okay, it's not that I refuse to pay for parking. It's that we already paid almost $30 to park to see our daughter. Oh, what's going on here? Um, cheer for approximately like 15 minutes. So um, I'm a little yeah. bent. I'm a little bent on paying more to go walk around some cowboy shit that I don't want to see because... I don't fucking like cowboys. Okay, look, look, you're you just hit the jaywalkers, all right? I don't like cowboys. I don't like cowboy hats. I don't like any of it. And everywhere on the street, it says you can't park. No parking. No parking anytime. No parking. It doesn't say anything on the street. Why can't you not park anywhere? Because look, watch. What does that sign say? No parking. Passenger loading zone only. Why? Why? Tell me why. They want you to pay to park. I ain't gonna do it. It's like sheer principle now. I'm super irritated. Uh, right now, I pay a thousand dollars to park just for a margarita, but uh, you know. Shut up. Shut up. A taco. What is that? No. Did you did you see that sign? What? No parking seven to four and eight to whatever. It was like, um, why don't you just say no parking ever? It's like weird code. Yeah. And how come this doesn't have a sign anywhere? I'm not leaving my car here. Why? This is Sketch City. What are you talking about? There's a couch on the sidewalk. Do you need a couch? Oh, well. Oh, is that plywood? Yeah, sure, why not? Mm. House looks available. Yeah, sounds good. So far, we're not impressed. No, not impressed at all. It's an old house. Joe T. Garcia's Mexican Dishes. Uh, everything but barking. The barking. The 
This might be the largest Mexican restaurant I've ever seen. It's cash only. You have to listen to the sound. Just so you know, when you're in Texas, the farther you get north from the border, the worse the salsa gets. What? No. <laughs> listen, listen, this place is legit and this looks amazing. Um, combo fajita so we can share. Frankly, I don't know how you deal with me, but uh, that was a damn good meal, so we suggest coming back. What do you want to say? Uh, this is where you're supposed to say something that, uh, delightful and, uh, and, and... Um, tequila helps. It's delightful. Whatever. Uh, Joe T. Garcia's in Fort Worth. Hands down, delish. Um, great staff, great food, so amazing. Margaritas, on point. Um, um what about the salsa? No. No, sorry, the salsa is not good, but it's okay. It's doable, it's just not... It's just not good. But, um, fun fact, not interested in Fort Worth, by the way. Don't like anything about it. Come on. Yeah. Well, we live in Texas, huh? There's country stuff everywhere. Yeah, but it's it's not it's not like this in Austin. Like, it's it's not. There's a, a lot of hats in Fort Worth. Big ones. Big hats. And boots. Not, a, not and as boots. big as Houston hats, but they're pretty big. Can you... Stop being so dramatic. Oh, well, I'm just murdering the uh, jaywalkers. It's not really on my list of things to do oh, today. Oh, it's because there's a bus. So everyone's like distraught that there's a bus. Oh. Oh, that's yeah, that's the, the curb. curb. Shut the fuck up. Uh, okay. I so, parked perfectly. So in our last video, we mentioned about using an Uber because the stupid girl on YouTube told us to use an Uber. Don't bring an Uber to Fort Worth. It sucks here. <laughs> we need to escape fast. You don't need an Uber anywhere where you can bring your car. No. We were in another state. And I'm talking about you, Darcy. Hey, don't throw shade. <laughs> She's probably from there, and Uber is like totally normal. But not not here. Not no, not for us. It wasn't it wasn't the right choice. It's not her fault. Are you ready? It was her fault, anyways. No. Anyway, let's go. All the streets are brick. Definitely a trip hazard after a couple margaritas. <laughs> World famous. Okay, so I have a question. Um, Cattleman's Internationally Famous Steakhouse in Fort Worth. I've never heard of it. <laughs> have you? No. So anybody out there internationally who thinks it's famous, please let us know. We did not eat there. Um, it looks like a, a old dirty cowboy steak place. I can but smell it from here. We're not interested in going, but please let us know if it's famous because I've never heard of it. <laughs> it's like the homeless row. Oh my God, shut up. What was that? I said it's legal to walk around with open container here. Why Just like in New Orleans. Why don't we have one? Um, because we don't know if we're staying the night or not. And I need to like be sober. Miss Molly's anywhere. Um, it does over there. It says free whores and booze. Uh, that's not what it says. And I don't see Miss Molly's anywhere. Uh, that sounds like a medical condition.
yes, that has to be good. They have a place down there called the Biscuit Bar. Like, what? Like biscuits? What Real biscuits? Of, what kind of place? Uh, that's a big cow. He looks so soft that I want to give him the pets. Do you know what's from Texas? Um, horses. There's only two things. Stairs and queers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what I heard. They do this twice a day. There's a lot of y'alls here. I just heard somebody use the word y'alls um, three times in one sentence. Three times in one sentence. Oh, there's just bars on the street everywhere. Penalton, Penalton whiskey. Cheers. Uh, yes. Luches sounds Italian. Look, it's Anthony Bourdain's uh, older and taller brother. This is why you're on a, on a historic cattle trail. This was the Chisholm Trail, the largest migration of domesticated livestock in the history of the United States. Now, from 18, right up to America. Civil War in 1865, there were more. There was not enough beef to be made, except Texas had a commodity that everybody wanted. He operated a stockyards up there. He said. So we waited like 37 years for that. Um, I think I think it took I think it took them maybe like one minute to walk down the street. And and but it's okay because we had whiskey and it was fine. So we're gonna but, find more. And it, it was fine. It was fine. But um, uh, I wouldn't say this is a, a have to stop. Uh, I wouldn't say if you were if you had never been to Texas and you were like thinking of all the places you could go and this was on it, you could just check that right off. Like you don't need to come here at all well, or anything. Maybe like a half hour. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, this guy in the blue hat's hilarious. I'm gonna follow him around a little bit. Oh my god. Redneck stuff. Looks like she was thirsty. Uh, when you're in Texas, you uh, buy hats. Not me. Well, when you're bald, you buy hats. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently Miss Molly's is off the, uh, the shelf here, but the Love Shack sounds promising. That is the whore bar, or Miss Molly's. We're gonna see if we can get a room. Where do you wanna go? Um, there's a bar over here called McNasty Saloon. McNasty, and if we don't go in there and buy a t-shirt, then we're worthless. All right, worthless. we're in. <laughs> Shall we, my dear? <laughs> okay. Whiskey no, first. Chicken shit bingo? Oh. Fort Worth ain't so bad after all. It's the company you keep.
I got my t-shirt. Uh, that was successful. And like two whiskeys in, and we met the something custard band. Uh, Jason custard Jason band. Jason custard. He was he was awesome. He was awesome. Uh, on to the next one. There's some serious bullshit stairs here, by the way. Beep. You're gonna fall off that. No, I'm not. Watch you. And we're gonna laugh. Ooh, look at that hat box. Look at that hat box. Like, really good country music is a bit of a curse. Do you want to love it? You want to hate it? You're not quite sure. It just makes you feel good. It feels wrong at the same time. I don't even know what to do here. I don't like it. <laughs> no, we're not. When we move the car, that involves paying money to right. move the car. Right, right. Ain't nothing free around here. Nothing's free. Parking's not free. Even if you stay at a fucking hotel right there, it's going to cost money. Yes. Bring lots of money, apparently. <laughs> so irritating. <laughs> apparently, everything here is only cash, too, which is weird. Not everything. Always a sign of a fine establishment. I gotta get my bag, my Yeti, and my pretzels. My pretzels, very important. So one of the things when we do these uh, these shows is uh, it's pretty much unplanned and just we show up with a destination and kind of kind of wing it. Sometimes wing it. sometimes we get lucky, sometimes we get fucked. Sometimes it's awful, and we have to go home, which I was planning on very much today because after 37 whiskey she decided that wasn't a good call no after our wonderful meal at the mexican restaurant i i changed i had a change of heart and i decided that maybe i should give it a chance a little chance a little chance and then the whiskey happened yeah and that Uh, listen here, drunk bitch. He said the end of the lobby. That's the other direction. Oh. <laughs> Good God. Shut up. That's a staff only. There ain't no fuck. You called me a drunk bitch? There ain't no elevator right here. Oh, we gotta go ask the guy. <sighs> what? Oh my god. It's cold, it's busy, it's crazy out there. <sighs> oh yeah, that's a old elevator. Nothing sketchy. Uh, so we found a hotel, Miss Molody, all the horrors had like the VD and they had to stay home. So we had to get a different hotel, which is called... Um, the Stockyard Hotel. The Stockyard Hotel. And they had actual keys this time. This is great. Real keys. So this is super cool, actually. This oh. is... Hey. We're in the cowboy corner. Ooh. So risque. Wait, give me a key. Give me a key. Give me a key. Give me a key. <laughs> Look at look, 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 look. Cowboy Corner. <laughs> Shut up, it opened. What, what? We don't need the light. Whew. Okay, come on in. Well, that's an oddly misshaping room, but that's fine. Oh. It smells very clean. Wow, that is one hell of a view. We are right on the corner. Airplug. In case you can't stand the sound, the earplugs. See? Um, the neighbors are gonna need the earplugs, you know, once we get the action. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> What's going on in here? So the hotel room comes with a card table. What the fuck is going on in here? Oh. Hang on, let's try this weird bathtub. Look at how fucking old and old this shit is. Look at it. 
Oh, it's a clawfoot tub with a fucking brass. Look at this shit. Um, can I just tell you that that's fucking awesome? That's awesome. Wow. Well, look at the toilet. Look at the toilet. Look at the toilet. Pull chain. Pull chain? Nah, I'm the pull machine. No pull chain. Oh, uh -uh. Yeah, it is. Look right there. Pull chain. Wow. It's a bullet hole. Yeah, there better be some haunted shit in this hotel because we paid 300 bucks to stay here, by the way. Um, although the location is, you cannot beat. We are right here on the corner of all of life, even though it's weird Texas-y stuff. All right, say something haunted. I, I have got nothing, but except there better be ghosts. Come on. Well, hang on, we've tempted the, tempted the spirits. See, you got the old timey shutters. They've got the classic horror drapes where the young ladies would uh, hang their bosom out the window here to the young gentleman out on the main street. Red rum, red rum, red rum. That's where the ice is. Oh, you're fine. Don't, don't worry about him. You'll just be on TV, don't worry. Invisible. Yeah, give it up. Christmas is over. It's not fucking Christmas anymore. Get it together. Because that makes everything more fun. <laughs> yeah, so really, if you're going to visit the United States, I mean, Fort Worth is probably the most Texas-y, Texas place you could probably no, find. No, no, no. Still don't come here. No, I'm staying firm on that. You don't need to come here for any reason. Well, you, Literally. You could go to Knott's Berry Farm. It's about the same. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not here. <laughs> Hurry up! This place is lit after dark. Well, we're gonna walk across the street to that bar. Okay. And then we're gonna drink. And then we're gonna go walk across the street to that bar and we're gonna drink. And then we're gonna come back to this bar and we're gonna drink some more. Okay. All right, let's do it. Come on, horror wagon. Can you not do that? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that was forty dollars. Yeah. Nothing. There's things here that cannot be unseen. Like Alice in Wonderland or the Twilight Zone. Yeah. Or the Twilight Zone. Meets Alice in Wonderland in Hee Haw. Hee Haw. Yes. Yes. That's it. <laughs> uh, the socks round. This is all too much bullshit for me. Like I. I'm sorry, but I was born and raised in California, and this whole cowboy culture, I don't give a fuck that I've lived here for 15 years. I, I'm not, I'm not digging it. It's not my jam. It's not my jam. I just, I can't get behind it. It's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Texas. Like, you're cool and all, but like, we gotta break up. Like, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> It's, it's killing me, Small. It's like way extra Texas. It's like Texas on cosplay. Uh, you know I, I don't know. No, 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 no. You're exactly right. That's exactly what I feel. I feel like everybody's just dressed up, and it's Halloween, and everyone wanted to be like Buck Owens, right? Or like fucking John Wayne. I feel like everybody's just dressed up and play and doing cosplay. That's oh, what I. That's what I think. By the way, John Wayne really was just a surfer from California. He was not a cowboy at all. By the way, total myth. See. See? 
<sighs> Bar number three. Let's give it a try. Okay, so uh, we bailed on Billy Bob's because it was um, $20, $20, $20, $20 to get in because Josh Abbott is playing. And you know what? For people who like country music, that's fucking great because Josh, Ab Josh Abbott, I've heard, is amazing. But this guy right here and me, no. uh, if it's not fucking bad religion, we're out. I'm not paying $20 no. for shit. No. So we're going to go find a bar that's free and we're no. just going to keep drinking and listen to whatever music they put on because we give no fucks. So 10,000, wait, 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 10,000 square foot of this fucking big old ass bar for $20. We're out. No. We're out. But if it was Glenn Danzig, we'd we, go, we're in. we'd probably go $18. <laughs> $20 uh. because Josh Abbott was playing there. Uh, so here's the thing. For someone yeah. who likes country, we're uh, we're from Austin. Well, we're not from Austin. We live in Austin, so it's like a like a different feel. So Fort Worth is like its own island. It's like its own little Texas island, and it's different from Dallas. It's also different from Houston and different from San Antonio. It's like it's like different countries. So if you don't know the cultures of the of the country, it doesn't really work out as well as you would like it to. So. We're gonna go back to the hotel bar and see if we can't get one, some more d'oeuvres, and two, probably a lot more cocktails, and then press on from this point on. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Oh, did I mention there's a rodeo right in the middle of town? And really, if you're here to see some real Texas Americana, you really can't beat Fort Worth. It's pretty good. But uh, if you're uh, like just a dirty bar fly like us, eh, not so much. If I was going to pay $20 for something, it would be to go to the rodeo, not to see Josh Abbott. I'm sorry, but like priorities. But then there's the smell. The smell. <laughs> then there's the smell. It's only smells. <laughs> Toothpicks. What? What? Trying to watch this uh, like 12 year old chick uh, try to park a Corvette, it's hilarious. Oh, what are you saying? Oh, wait a minute here, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A little commentary, Barbie in a Corvette. Barbie Corvette. Okay. Alright. But we just want to drink. Um, so the uh, hotel bar. It's called Cowboy Channel. We're across the street from the bar that's next to our hotel called Reds something. Red, some dirty fucking red something. I don't know. But the bar was fucking full and it had saddles for chairs. Yeah, we're um, not and I'm not gonna get a motherfucking saddle to say to get a drink, okay? Like I'm not doing that. So we are at Cowboy Channel and I will have to say, even though the rodeo is on, um, it's like really, really clean in here. Super clean. Like it smells clean. I I love this place already. Um, and they have buffalo trays, so um, plastic cups, we won't talk about that. It's fine. It's fine. Definitely much nicer than the last dive we were. Billy Bob's need a dick. Uh, we didn't even actually go in, so we can't say that, but the white elephant definitely said it. For sure. I'll go there. For go sure. <laughs> Name of the place? It's called Cowboy Channel. Cowboy Channel. Go down like the ladies. It's less rednecky here. Lots of hats. Lots of hats. Her skirt's so short, I can almost see her future children. Uh, I've been to the rodeo before. It's pretty impressive. But we've been sitting in this bar watching it on TV. Um, which, you know, it's 
it's also pretty impressive, but not a, not like being there. Um, but again, still, like it's I I am not of the of the cowboy culture. Okay, it's not my jam. I can appreciate it and think like, hey, that's pretty cool that you did that. But guess what? I, like I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. So like, just FYI, I, I'm not gonna come back here. If you're not gonna miss me. I'm not gonna miss you. I'm not coming back here. Um, it's gonna be great. That's some real Texas shit here. Uh, we're doing cowboy shit. Thanks for watching. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Right. Um, so a few problems. One, it's late, and I want I want nachos. That, that's just the reality. I want nachos. Um, there's no nachos to be had, and apparently some beverages have been consumed. And somebody, somebody on that on that team, she drank too much, and she needs to get some food in her stomach. Um, Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Try it. Um, Try Sa it. Sally sells sluts down at, like, Walmart. I don't okay. Know. So, I'm just going to point out that I don't need nachos. Some other bitch is asking for nachos. But Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. I am still 100% sober. Now, we're not driving anywhere. We have to walk across the street to our hotel room. But I don't need food. This bitch is crying a river about nachos because Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Say it. Um, Say Sal it. Sally the slut needs some fucking nachos. I'm just going to fucking play right now. Um, they do not serve food at the bar we are at. So he is complaining that he needs to go across the street because he needs some type of nourishment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have pretzels in our room, but that's not that's not enough for him. No. No. We uh we need nachos. I don't need anything. This bitch needs some food apparently. And a nap. I love Shaq. Bar number five, I think. It's a good time. Enjoy. Uh, yeah, last night was a little rough. Five bars, three bands, God knows how many drinks. Uh, yes, this place is a pretty good time if, uh, you know, you're a lonesome cowboy. Laura's still a little trashed, waiting for her to, uh, resurrect her, uh, herself this morning. <sighs> I gotta admit, I wish we would've went to the radio. We watched it on TV in the bar, and it was, uh, pretty dang interesting. It's definitely not something I've ever been a part of. It happens right here every day. to go see if I can resurrect Sleeping Beauty. It was rough. Nothing, but it... Well, that's a wrap on uh, the stockyards. Bro, there was uh, <clears throat> a little too much whiskey consumed last night. So we are headed home, which actually I'm kind of excited about because I'd like to sleep in my bed. Um, 
It's real, real loud. If you want to stay down in the stockyard, it's like real, real loud. People drinking, hitting and hollering and doing cowboy shit. And there was a, con a concert and all kinds of stuff. So it was louder than shit. But what was crazy is that we had earplugs in. They give you those complimentary because it's loud as uh, shit. Oh, because you need them. And you need them. But at 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, I think our bathroom sink was possessed. And it literally sounded like... Miles. Turn right. What is that? North the, it sounded like the bowels of hell was coming up through the sink. It scared us so bad. We both had earplugs in and we could hear it. Yeah. Spring uh, out of bed to see, you know, some bullshit coming out of the sink. It was a little horrifying. It was a little horrifying. We thought we were going to have to run for the hills, but alas, it subsided. Could have been. If that hotel is haunted, that maybe that's that's how they show yeah, it. Yeah, they're haunted in the plumbing, apparently. Yeah, because nothing else happened. So, it is what it is. Well, I'm back. Da -da 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 -da.